was quite obvious. Hmm. You have to stick in and sort things out. Tell me that isn't true. Sword. I couldn't care less. Nothing amazes me anymore. He really should have known better. Hey. Enos be with you. What can I do for you, Wanderer? Where will this path take me? The path leads to the Monastery of the Magicians of Fire. However, access is permitted only to the servants of Enos. If you want to be accepted as a novice in the Monastery, you must bring a sheep and... A thousand gold pieces. What are you doing here? I am a magician of fire, a priest of our god, Inos. This shrine is consecrated to him, the highest god, the creator of the fire and lord of justice. People come to me in order to pray to Inos and be blessed. And for a small donation, you can get many useful things from me. Bless me. I bless you in the name of Inos. May the Lord's fire burn in your heart and give you the strength to act according to his justice. Show me your wares.
May Innos watch over you always. That's terrible. Someone's got to do the work. These are bad times. Hey! He had better shut up. And I want to make a donation. Who says things like that? Honestly, Inos, bless this man. Let your light shine That's upon him. Give him strength not what to I behave heard. justly. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Honestly, I witnessed it. I want to make a donation. That's an open secret. He can't he knows, keep anything bless himself, this man. Let your light shine upon him. Things. Give him really? strength to behave justly. He simply talks too much. That's I want to make a donation. He had better shut up. He knows, he bless this man. Himself. Let That's your light terrible. shine upon him. He can't keep Give him strength to, himself, to behave favorite. justly. He had better shut up. These are I want to make a donation. You don't say. He knows, bless this man. Too. Let your light shine upon him. And he Give him strength too. to behave That's justly. That's not what my husband thinks. I want to make a donation. Too much. I don't believe that. Inos, bless don't this man. This Let your I light shine too. upon him. That's Give him strength thinks. to behave I don't justly. That. Now that's I want to make a donation. You have donated more than a thousand gold pieces overall to me. The blessing of the Lord in us is always with you. I can't take care of everything for everybody. I won't tell her a thing from now on. These are bad times. That's not what I heard. He can't keep anything to himself. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Who says things like that? Show me your wares. I can't take care of everything for everybody. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, that's an open secret. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That's terrible. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Don't tell this to anyone. Show me your wares. I won't tell her a thing from now on. You don't say. Now that's typical, isn't it? Someone's got to do the work. I don't believe that. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. I won't tell her a thing from now on. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Go away. Don't tell me that. And he works. Show me your too. wares. Take now your that's pick. That's typical, isn't it? These are bad times. Don't tell this to anyone. And it's going to get even worse. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Everybody knows by now. That's an open secret. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... I won't tell her a thing from now on. I don't believe that. But that's terrible. Everybody knows by now. He had better shut up. Really? I've got to go. Suit yourself. Everybody knows by now. That's what I've always said. 
I can't take care of everything for everybody, and it's going to get even worse. I won't tell her a thing from now on. This it was is his the decision, wasn't it? Really? I'm always I'm not touching that. Oh, that's what About this weapons dealer. About those missing people. Yes? Let me tell you what I know. What have you found out? Nothing important. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Inos. Very well. Inos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire, his gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. There you are again. Teach me how to forge a decent sword. It's quite simple, boy. Get a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then you pound the blade into shape on the anvil. Exactly what I said. We can't keep anything to ourselves. These are bad times. I don't believe that. Same old thing all over again. And he works all day too. Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. And he works all day too. Who are you? I'm called Attila. But is my name important? Our names are meaningless. You should know that best, stranger. <laughs> you don't say. He says that he talks too much. Go away, don't tell me that. What do you want from me? I'm here to explain a few things to you, and afterwards, I'm going to kill you. Who pays you for this? My employers work out of public view, as do I. A condition of my contract is that I name neither their names nor their residences. Why do you want to kill me? You blew the whistle on Halvor. Now he's sitting in jail. That was not part of the plan. You sold Rengaru to the city. He is only a petty thief, but you shouldn't have done that. Nagur is behind bars because of your interference. An unforgivable mistake as some see it. My employers are not exactly pleased about it. To prevent you from making yet another mistake, they have sent me. I can give you gold, a lot of gold. Futile. That's not why I have come. The only price that you will pay is your life, and right now.
Well, at least you've got some. You're a great. He had better shot. It had to happen sooner or later. Say that myself. I won't tell her a thing Let from now on. change? These are bad times. And there's more. Really, how interesting. I wouldn't have done that. I agree with you completely. That bastard tried to kill me. Hey, how could that be my fault? All I did was pass on some information. If anyone is determined to step on your toes, I guess he'll have his reasons. Those are all just rumors. That's really not my problem. I could have told you that. that was Show me your maps. Long. Why haven't I heard about this before? But no, he insisted he knew better. And Come back I'll again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. Nothing surprises me anymore. Who said that? Nothing to be had there.
I'll never get this open without the right key. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following... Hey, what are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you. So, out with it. What are you doing here? I've done in Attila. He had the key to the sewers on him. You killed Attila? So what? He was a lousy dog anyway. But I'll tell you something. If you attack me, I'll kill you. What are you doing here in this dark, dank hole? <sighs> I live here. One more stupid question and I'll cut a design in your hide. Take me to your leader. Ha! <laughs> My leader? I'm sure Cassia will want to talk to you. Go ahead. And don't try to fool me. Wait a minute. A few lockpicks would be helpful. Have you lost your way? I don't think this is the right place for you. If anything happens to you here, no one's going to help you. So be careful. Hey, you! Just look who found his way here. Attila underestimated you. I am not going to make the same mistake. What's being played here? We wanted you to die for blowing the whistle on a friend. That's why we sent Attila. Your presence here, however, opens up a new option. What do you want to offer me? You can join us. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us, but nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. What do you know about the missing people? Why would that interest you? I want to find out what happened to them. When you emerge from the sewers, swim down along the coast to the right for a while. You're bound to find your answers there. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us. To anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, if you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous, for dexterity is the key to your abilities. How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? And what if I don't want to join you? In that case, I shall kill you. Okay, I'm in. You've made a wise decision. If you succeed in proving yourself, you may join our ranks. If you would like to learn the thieves' abilities first, feel free. You're going to need them. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. I've got Constantino's ring. Congratulations. You passed your initiation test. Now you're truly one of us. Take this key. It opens the door to the hotel. Then you won't have to swim every time. Furthermore, you should know that we have a secret sign, a particular nod. Exactly. 
When you talk to the right people and make this sign, they'll know you're one of us. Have you got a job for me? Yes. There is a matching set of chalices. Six of them. King Rabar once captured them during a campaign, but he sacrificed many men so he could get them. That's why they're called the Blood Chalices. Each of the chalices by itself is not all that valuable, but the six of them all together are worth a tidy sum. Where are these chalices? They're here, in town. They belong to the rich merchants in the upper quarter. Bring them to me. In the meantime, I'll try to find a buyer for them. What's in it for me? Either half the profit, or you get to pick a special item from my booty. Can you teach me? Sure. Pickpocketing and dexterity will cost you a hundred gold pieces each. Hey! Look at you. Where do you come from, huh? Uh, I... <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me. I know everything. Just don't even think of stealing anything here, got it? We can't afford drawing attention to the hotel. Hey, you! Hey! Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is the security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. I'm ready to join the militia. Martin, the provisions master, vouches for you and has even recommended you. That alone is enough for me. You can join us if you wish, but your decision will be final. Once you wear the armor of the militia, you cannot simply take it off and no longer belong to us. Are you prepared to fight together with us for Inos and the King? I'm ready. Then so shall it be. Welcome to the militia. Here is your armor. Wear it with pride and dignity. Can I finally see Lord Hagen now? You are now in the service of the Paladins. They will let you in, but you had better have something important to say. Don't worry, I do. Remember that you are meeting the Chief Paladin. Behave yourself accordingly. You represent not only yourself now, but the entire militia. Will I get a weapon too? Of course. Peck usually takes care of that. But it occurs to me that I haven't seen him for quite a while. Find out where he's hiding and bring him here. Then he will give you a weapon. And if you want to sleep, you can lie down in one of the beds in the bunkhouse. Have you got an assignment for me? Lately, there's been an increase in the sale of swamp weed in the city. We cannot allow this stuff to catch on. Otherwise, everyone here will start smoking and no longer be able to work, let alone wield the weapon. Particularly now that there is a danger of a possible attack by orcs or mercenaries. I suspect that the mercenaries are behind it. I bet they are bringing the stuff into the city. What is there to do? Mortis, one of our men, heard in the Harbor Inn that a package of swamp weed has arrived somewhere in the Harbor District. Look around down there and bring me the package. Will you tell me now why you paladins have come to Corinus? Now you belong to the city guard. Therefore, 
you are also subordinate to the Paladins. Now, I can take you into my confidence. We have come on a mission from King Robar. With the collapse of the barrier, the deliveries of ore have failed. Therefore, we are getting the ore and bringing it to the mainland. With the ore, we shall forge new weapons and drive the orcs back. What about the missing people? What about them? Well, shouldn't we try to find them? Lord Hagen gave me orders to protect the town and the surrounding farms. That means that we're taking care of the people who are still here. The militia patrols the streets at night. That's all I can do. And you will take care of the tasks I give you. Understood? How's the situation in town? Everything is under control. Carry out your assignments. So Lord Andre accepted you. I expect you to come here and train regularly. Ruga will train you in the art of the crossbow, and Mortis will help you to increase your strength. But the most important thing is for you to learn to handle your sword properly. I'll make a good fighter of you yet. Let's begin with the training. Where's Peck? You just started with us, huh? Well then, welcome to the team. Peck's been in the city a really long time. I bet he's hanging around that sweet Vanya in the Red Lantern. What do you know about that package of weed? Hmm. The last time I was in the Harbor Inn, I heard how Cardiff and some other guy were talking about it. Who was the other guy? No idea. But he said he'd found the best storage place for his herbs. Then the two of them laughed like drunken orcs. I want to get stronger. Got it. If you've got enough experience, I can help you with your training. I want to get stronger. Wait a minute. I want to get stronger. He never would have thought of that himself. I could have told you that before. Really? How interesting. Nobody will learn anything from me. Don't tell me you didn't know Hear ye, Nobody inhabitants of Corinthians. I've heard a thing or two. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. But no, he insisted he knew better. Nobody wants to know. These are bad times. He would have never thought of that himself. That's the first I've heard of it. Been there, done that.
All right. So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out. Another one of those things. So much for Nothing you, filthy there. beast. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc! Right outside the city. Holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to Nothing plunder. to be had there.
to pieces. Stop right there, you lowlife! <laughs> yes! Run as fast as you can! So much for you, lowlife. You're in for it now. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there.
Halt! Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. I belong to the militia. Let me pass. So, Andre accepted you. Then he can't be such a bad guy after all. You are now one of the protectors of the city, so be nice and friendly towards the citizens. Ah, you again. So, you actually managed to get into the upper quarter. There are some things you must heed here. Otherwise, you will wind up outside as fast as you got in here. You're only allowed to enter the merchant's buildings. You can recognize them by the signs over the door, just so there are no misunderstandings. The other buildings belong to important citizens. There is nothing there for you. As a member of the militia, you also have access to the rooms of the paladins, but your quarters are still in the barracks. The important citizens of this town live in this quarter, so treat them with respect. Do we understand each other? Sure. Where can I find Lord Hagen? He's in the town hall, at the end of the upper quarter. But you will not be admitted there without a good reason. Where can I find Lord Hagen? He's in the town hall, at the end of the upper quarter. But you will not be admitted there without a good reason. Has anything exciting happened lately? You should know that best. As a member of the city guard, it's your task to see the law and order. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. What are you doing here? What do you think, huh? I'm a gardener. I take care of the garden. You're pretty much by yourself here, aren't you? Yes, and it should stay that way. I'm glad that I have some peace here. Once, they wanted to send me to the penal colony because I did some guy in. But Larius, the governor, needed another gardener, and so I could stay here. Over time, this garden has become my home, and I'm content with that. Are you growing herbs as well? A few. I'm growing fireweed and fire nettles. I also tried swamp weed, but that doesn't really thrive here. Well, I just harvested. So if you want to buy something. So you're one of us. Then I got some useful information for you. Some of the houses up here have secret panels that can only be opened by hidden switches. People hide their valuables behind them. Show me your wares.
Halt! Only men who are in service to the king may enter the town hall. I am a member of the militia. All right, you can go in. Hey. What are you doing here? I make sure that nobody enters the houses. Explicit order from Lord Hagen, and don't even think about violating this order. How are things? At the moment, everything is quiet. I'll never get this open without the right key. Welcome, traveler. Looking for a fine potion? I have a large selection and reasonable prices, and my potions are much better than the stuff that Zurus sells. Show me your wares.
Halt! No one may enter the storeroom! I belong to the Royal Army. I want to equip myself. Do you have an order for that? Sure. Fine, you can go in. What with? What with? You're with the militia now. I'm proud of you. As long as you're in the army, naturally I won't expect you to fulfill your duties as an apprentice as well. But if you need anything, you can come to me anytime. Teach me how to forge a decent sword. It's quite simple, boy. Get a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then you pound the blade into shape on the anvil. I want to sell the weapons I forged. Good. Give it here. Fine. And here's your pay. There you are again. I want to sell the weapons I forged. Good. Give it here. Fine. And here's your pay. There you are again. I want to sell the weapons I forged. Good. Give it here. Fine. And here's your pay.
That'll only cause more trouble. I've got my own opinion about that. Do you really? You think? know your way about the harbor, don't you? Sure thing. Why? I'm not touching that. He really didn't deserve that. I could have told you that. Ah, you're involved with the gang. All right. In that case, I've got something for you. If you ever need some lockpicks, come to me. I still have a few around. Just ask me for something to drink. Give me something to drink. I need information. What do you know about a package of swamp weed? Whoever owns such a package is a rich man. And probably a very relaxed man as well. Don't try to fool me. You know something. So spit it out. All right, all right. This fellow came to my tavern the other day. One of the mercenaries. He said that he sold a package of swamp weed at the harbor. But of course he was completely stoned. That's all I know. Hey, you! I know why the Paladins are here. Really? Tell me! The Paladins are here to get the magical ore from the Valley of Mines, not because they expect the Orcs to attack the city. As soon as they've got the ore, they're going to return to the mainland. Thanks for the information. The way it looks, we have all the time in the world for building our ship! Hey, you still here? Didn't I tell you to piss off? Now I'll show you who's boss around here. Hey! Come back to me the next time. Hey, you! I can only talk to you if you speak to Bromar first. Who says things like that? That's what I've always said. No idea. Really? Hey, it's time to hit the road. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I need a weapon, so come back to the barracks. Damn it, your weapon can wait. Come on, Andre's already missed you too. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm coming already, but when you report back to Andre, don't tell him I was here.
I've managed to track down Peck. Yes, he's already back at his post and going about his duty. Where did you find him? He was in the Red Lantern. So, he's hanging around with the girls instead of doing his duty. I believe I shall have a few words with him. About the package. Have you found it? I threw it into the harbor basin. So? Well, the main thing is that it can no longer fall into the wrong hands. Here is your pay. Have you got another job for me? You have taken the package of swamp weed out of circulation. Good. But I would like to know who is distributing the stuff among the people. It must be someone in the harbor district. If someone regularly came from outside the city, he would have been caught some time ago. What exactly am I to do? Find the dealer and get him to sell you some weed. That will not be easy, but we cannot arrest him otherwise. Talk to Mortis. He knows the Harbor District. Perhaps he can help you. Have you got another assignment for me? Lobart the turnip farmer has problems in his fields. If we help him, it will solidify his relationship with the city. So go to him and see what is wrong. What do you know about the Harbor District? I want to find the one who's selling the swamp weed. Well, the guys down there really don't talk much. And they're guaranteed not to say anything to one of the city guard. If you want to learn anything down there, you should... No, you have to take off your armor. All right, and then? The tavern and the brothel are probably the best places for you to go. If you're going to learn anything, then you'll learn it there. Wait a minute. For the king. I've come to get myself a weapon. I haven't forgotten you. Who told Andre that I was in the Red Lantern then? And now you want a blade from me. All right, you'll get a blade. Here. And now drop dead. If you want a better weapon, then go to the merchants in the market. Are you interested in this package of weeds? A package of herbs? Uh, that's not swamp weed, is it? Oh, take it away, son of improvidence. If the city guards catch me with that, they'll throw me into jail, and you will fare no better. If you're planning to sell this stuff, I advise you, leave this town. Try and get rid of it somewhere outside the city walls. In here, all you can get for it is trouble galore. I've got some honey tobacco for you. It is a great pleasure doing business with you. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, his wisdom the following did so. I've got your silver. Really? Here. Take this as a reward. 
a very special beer. This is my last keg. And so he bade Enos to leave a part of his power in his realm so that he might restore it to the human if the beast should return. And Enos but no, in his he insisted window. he knew better. That was quite obvious. I'm no better off myself. But he knew that all along. I'm not telling you anything new. I don't know why he gets so worked up. I'm no better off myself. Andre sent me to you. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, sure. Those damn field raiders are making me sick. Do them all in. I don't care how. Hey! I've done away with the things. Well done. Well, you're not a bad exterminator. I'll recommend you around. Here, take this as payment. Show me your wares. Anymore. You mustn't believe everything you hear. That's not what I heard. Show me your wares. Show me your wares.
thought as much. That's been known a long time. That was quite obvious. That's what I've always said. I won't tell her a thing for Do you know where I could buy some weed? If I were you, I'd try my luck in the Red Lantern. You don't say. Who says things like that? And he works all day, too. Can I borrow some more money from you? No more now. Come back. Someone. That's not what I heard. That's not what my husband thinks. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. That's not what I heard. I need information. And he works all but day no, too. he insisted he knew better. Where can I buy weed here? That's terrible. He's, He's certainly not here. All right, where then? I'd talk to Meldor if I were you. After all, he smokes all day. Really? How interesting. Someone's gonna do the way about it differently. That's forever. not what my husband thinks. Do you know where I could buy some weed? No. Piss off. Someone's got to do the work. Hey. I can only talk to you if you speak to Bromar first. Can I get special goods here too? Sure. All my goods are very special. If you have enough gold, you can go upstairs with Nadja. I want to have some fun. Fine. You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. Hey, you. Where can I buy some weed around here? Leave me alone. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. He'd better shut up. As if I didn't have enough problems. He had better shut up. Where can I find myself some weed? No idea. Better keep your fingers off of that stuff. Because if you keep asking about it, you might burn them. Where can I buy some weed around here? If you want me to tell you something, you'd better part with a few gold pieces. How much do you want? Fifty gold pieces should do the trick. Now tell me where I can buy weed. Talk to Borka, baby. He'll have some weed for you. Hey! I've heard you're selling weed. Says who? That's beside the point. I just want to know who sent you so I can be sure you're all right. It's better to watch out. So, do you want to cut a deal or not? All right. <laughs> Let's make a deal. You give me 50 gold pieces and then you'll get your weed. No haggling. Someone's got to do the work. Why haven't I heard about this before? Let's make a deal. Here's the gold. All right. Here's a fresh, resinous stalk of weed. Go away. Don't tell me that. It can't go on like this forever. Someone's got to do the work. So why won't they listen to me? Don't say. I won't tell them. Someone's got to do the work. Don't tell this to me. I agree with you completely. Nobody ever asks.
I've helped Lobart. Excellent. If Lobart is happy, then he will continue to sell his turnips to the city. Here is your pay. About that weed. I know who's selling the weed in town. It's Borka, the doorman at the Red Lantern. Indeed? Do we have proof? He sold me some swamp weed. Fine. That's enough for us. I shall have him arrested at once. Here is your pay. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins effective immediately. The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the King's guards most severely. Let's wait and see what happens. Show me your maps. Is it really true? Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for it's you then. Totally These are bad times. Give me something to drink. Go away, don't tell me that. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That is a violation of the Army's dress code. Get changed on the spot. Hey! Show me your wares. You don't say. I won't tell her a thing from now on. You can't keep anything. Show me your wares. Take your pick. And it's going to get even worse. Really? How interesting. I've got to go. Suit yourself. That's what I've always said. Now that's typical, isn't it? He simply talks too much. Show me your wares. He can't keep anything to himself. That's what I've always said. He'd better shut up. Everybody knows by now. Someone's got to do the work. These are bad times. Show me your wares. That's terrible. No idea. You tell me. Who says things like that? That's what I've always said. Show me your wares. Bad times. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Everybody knows by now. Who says things like that? Honestly, I witnessed it myself. That's not what I heard. I'm no better off myself. What are you doing here? Who are you then? Looks like you're new and have no idea what's going on around here. They call me Gabrant. That's Mr. Gabrant, sir, to you. Got it? I get the point, Mr. Gabrant, sir. At least it didn't take you too long to grasp how the wind blows around here. As soon as business starts picking up again, I can surely find a use for a great big guy like you. You'd make a really good depot master. Can you read? Of course. Fine, fine. Trained staff is hard to come by. 
How about your references? References? All right. I shall remember your face. Once trade picks up again, come and see me. I just might have a job for you by then. Hey! He thinks this is How's business? Not so great. Back when the barrier was still in place, times were better. The prisoners would scrape boxes and boxes of ore from the mines, and my ships then brought it to the mainland. On their way back, they bought food and other wares. But now we're cut off from the mainland and have to rely on the farmers for supplies. I agree with you completely. You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? The swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now. I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted for me was food supplies. Business was really slow. So I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Same old thing all over again. The militia is going to deal with you. You can't do this. I should say I can. You'll be amazed. Bye, Enos. I'm ruined. How do you make a living now? I don't know. But at any rate, no more shady dealings for me. That much is clear. Things I could tell you. Do you really believe that? And there's more, believe me. Go away. Don't tell me that. My name is Lutero. I buy and sell all kinds of things. What wares do you have to offer? Well, especially rare and unusual things. So far, I've always managed to fulfill my customers' wishes. Are you looking for anything in particular? Yes, for my current assignment, I need the claws of a snapper. But not just any old claws. It would have to be something special. The claws of a mighty beast who has killed many men already, or something like that. Where can I find snappers? There are a few of them on this island, but most of them live in the Valley of Mines. And what's in it for me? I could get you a ring of invincibility. I'll see what I can do. These are bad times. Show me your wares. But that's terrible. He had better shut up. Who says things like that? These are bad times. I can't take care of everything for everybody. That's not what my husband thinks. Show me your wares. this to anyone. He simply talks too much. Go away, don't tell me that. Now that's typical. Who says things like that? Hey! Show me your wares. I have already heard of you. Lothar has reported that you wish to speak with me. You are the stranger who has demanded the Eye of Enos. I am Lord Hagen, paladin of the king, warrior of our Lord Enos, and commander-in-chief of Corinus. I have much to do, so do not waste my time. Tell me, rather, why you are here. What do you know about the Eye of Enos? It is a divine artifact. In the old prophecies, it is mentioned in connection with dragons. However, 
The scriptures also say that only a chosen of Enos can wear it. The hosts of evil are gathering very close to here, in the Valley of Mines. In the Valley of Mines? We have dispatched an expedition there. We are also aware of reports that say the pass there is occupied by orcs. But thus far, no news has reached me of an army of evil. What army is that supposed to be? An army of dragons who have gathered hosts of their minions around them. Dragons? According to the old scriptures, it is many centuries since dragons were last sighted. Tell me, why should I believe a word you say? But the question isn't whether you can believe me. The question is whether you can afford not to believe me when I tell the truth. As long as I have no proof, I cannot afford to send even more men there. Why have you come to Corinus? We are on an important mission for the kingdom. Our orders come directly from King Robar. I told you that we have sent an expedition to the Valley of Mines. That is the reason for our presence. I want to take up service with the Order. To be a warrior of Enos means to devote yourself entirely to the cause of Enos. Only the noblest and bravest warriors are accepted into our Order. If you are truly determined to become a paladin, you must prove that you are worthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Your deeds will show whether you are worthy. We fight for freedom and justice in the name of Enos. We fight against Beliar and his henchmen who want to destroy the just order of Enos. I understand. You understand nothing at all. Our honor is our life and our life is Enos. A paladin goes into battle praising Enos and many of us have lost our lives on the altar of the eternal strife between good and evil. Every single one of us has committed himself to this tradition. If we fail, we tarnish the deeds of our fallen comrades. Only he who truly understands this is worthy of being a paladin. So you want me to bring you proof? Precisely. Cross the pass and go to the Valley of Mines. Once there, seek out the expedition, and when you have found them, speak to Commander Garond. If anyone knows the situation there, he will. If he confirms your words, then I am prepared to help you. Does that mean you'll hand over the Eye of Enos to me? The Eye of Enos? Good. Bring me proof, then I shall see to it that you are permitted to wear the amulet. Then can I say I've got your word on this matter? You can, for you have it. How am I supposed to get across the pass? I shall give you the key to the gate to the pass. However, you will have to find your own way through the ranks of the orcs. May Enos protect you.